My name is Benjamin Michel, and I built Triton Orbitron, as we called. He's actually the sequel to a uh, another bot, Titan Orbitron, that I brought last year. He only had two drills. This one's got the three. And then, um, to get the to get balance the whole thing, he's actually got a tank on the back. You can't see it, but it's you can actually deploy it. He can lower it down and bring it back up. It's to counter -wit balance the arms. He's got uh, little motorbikes actually down here <laughs> that can deploy out. And what's really cool about the motorbikes is they actually join up into a four-wheel suspension rocket car. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> that is really crazy, yeah. So can you demonstrate how some of that works here? I think so. If, yeah. One problem about this guy is he is he's strong, but balancing is not his strong point, so it takes a little finagling to get him standing, but there we go. So those pops off there. Yeah. Then it's just this bike was a bit of a rushed project. But the rocket launcher can fold out. There is room in here for a minifig. And then it's got a little kickstand on the side, so it can stand on its own. The rockets are just stored on the front, and you can take them off and load them in there. Mm -hmm. And then so. does the tank come off on the back? or? Yeah, it does. Um, it's kind of hard to demonstrate, though, without holding him, because, like I said, he balances the arms. But the winch is, uh, the winch is right here. It's got uh, four strings that go up and back down again and twice, so it's pretty strong. And uh, it actually works pretty well. It took me several tries to get it right, but it got it. Mm -hmm. That's really cool here. So if we kind of move around to the, the front then, talk about some of the techniques here and kind of how you got the, the arms built. Well, for the arms, starting with the shoulders, I used some of the large Technic, the really big Technic gears. Those are some of the only pieces strong enough. I've got three long joints to hold the arm on. And it's actually designed to be uh, removed off easily for transportation. Then um, the motor is built inside here. And actually in this arm segment, it's kind of ridiculous, but no one can see it. I built a little flower garden <laughs> just to be funny because it's Lego, but it's really funny. And then on the other arm, there's actually a storage unit in that arm for these darts in here for the what I call ab cannons. But those are triggered by these little buttons in the sides. And so we can shoot those off. And then uh, for the drill piece, the center pieces, I actually used some of the Nexo Knight shield pieces, the triangle ones. Those worked perfectly for building that. Okay. Yeah, very cool. One thing I noticed is that you've got kind of tires as the feet there. How did you decide to go with that technique? Um, the idea started on the last mech, but it worked really well because the treads just, they will not slip. They work really, really well for supporting it. So it also spreads the weight out over a very wide area. So he's able to stand quite solidly on the tires as they are. And uh, if I keep on building these things, I'll just keep increasing the size of the tires to get them bigger and bigger. Exactly. More and more platform there to build, build bigger with. Yeah, you got it. So when you move this around to a show, does it stay together pretty well? It'll stay together. The trick, like I said, is getting him to stand. But once I've got that, he, he's solid. He's really solid. And with all the moving parts like this, does that tend to wear down or does it keep going throughout the whole show pretty well? The only thing that wears down is the battery box. So I uh, brought a spare one. But, no, aside from that, he can just keep cranking along as long as he's got power. So. I think you've also got, is there some lights in the top there? What's running yeah. that? Uh, there's a, the two battery boxes. This one controls the lights. Then this one is the backup, and that's powering the drill right now. And uh, funny thing on the lights is I actually changed the design because originally I had just two large discs, and it looked like a really loony clown face. <laughs> so I had to get rid of that. Always updating. Well, I think it turned out great, and I, I love it, the, the dis display you've got here. So thanks for talking to me about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.